scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship ye so me Sing like never before Sing like never before Oh my soul Oh my soul And worship I worship your Lord Sing it two more times Bless the Lord Oh my soul Bless the Lord Just play the instrument softly. I want us to just meditate in one minute. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord. Extol Him. Let Him know He's the reason why you are not dead. Let Him know you are the reason, He's the reason why your life is the way it is for your mercy so oh god for your faithfulness for your kindness i want you to think of times when you were delivered whilst you were not even praying times when the mercies of god spoke for you hallelujah Please everyone, just whisper your gratitude to the Lord. Sometimes we get so familiar. The worship team just led us through a session that I don't just want us to come out of casually. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's my song to you. Thank you. Thank him. You will be arrogant if there's nothing to say thank you to him for. Lord, you have been faithful faithful great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness it's morning by morning new mercies I see all I have 
God has provided. Hold on. Take note of what provided it. Thy hands has provided. Not my gifts have provided. All that I needed, thy hands has provided. Great is thy, thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great Lord on me. On Christ the solid rock I stand truly all on the ground is sinking sand. All on the ground is sinking sand. Oh for your Jesus, we are calling your name so that the nations will not confuse who is the doer of these things. It is possible for your people to believe Joshua Selman is the doer. It is possible for your people to believe it is the wisdom of man. But we call that name Jesus. Jesus, the wonder walker. Jesus the healer Jesus the restorer Jesus the mighty one Jesus the redeemer Jesus the baptizer Jesus the imparter what's that song take it higher for me just one more song and then we'll sit down you have captured my heart consume my heart with your love oh, we're singing this to jesus a love song you have captured my heart consume my heart my heart with your love koinonia lift your voice lift your hands you and let's sing this song to him my heart Consume my heart with your love. Hey, hey, hey. If all One I say time, is Jesus, say you have captured my heart. My heart. Consume my heart. Yes, the part of the song I love. If all, if all I, say, I say is Jesus, sing that name. If all I say is Jesus. If all I say is Jesus, if all I say is Jesus, the Savior, the Healer, Jesus, that's more than enough. The Living One. Somebody say, if all I say is Jesus, if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all I say is Jesus, if all I say is Jesus, if all I say is Jesus, 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 
That's more than enough. I want you to just whisper that name to him. Let the nations hear you say it. Some of you have not called that name in a long time. You have called talent. You have called gifts. You have called money. You have called men. But you've forgotten. You've even called God. But you've not called Jesus. Let your spirit get used to that name again. The name that is given unto men. By which men are saved. Soteria. Healed. That's changed. That's the name that heals cancer. That's the name that delivers. The name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is not the identity of a God. It's a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Dependable. Reliable. Hallelujah. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. Just play it lightly. I believe in you. The meeting is already on. This is the person we introduced there at night. Jesus, Son of God. I believe in you. I Hallelujah. Listen. You. There is Jesus, the footballer. There is Jesus, the activist. There is Jesus, the Mexican. So that we don't mix this thing. The, we are talking about the Son of God. They called Paul and, and Barnabas. They said one was Zeus and Hermes. They were in the similitude of sons of God. But he said, I saw the fourth man in the fire. And his fashion was like the son of God. Like the son of God. Let me tell you the truth. Don't you ever think we are wasting our time. If, if you come into God's presence, the protocol is that in all your ways, you must acknowledge don't you ever call acknowledging him a waste of time I believe in you let's just sing it one more time to the glory of your name Jesus Son of God I believe in you Tonight, Lord, be glorified in this place. We hand over this meeting tonight. Lord, there are sick people in this place trusting you for miracles. There are oppressed people trusting you for breakthroughs. Who but you is able to wipe the tears of men? Who but you is able to bring your word with power? We have acknowledged you before the nations let them know unashamedly that jesus is the doer of everything that happens in this house he is the healer the restorer the changer the transformer jesus the merciful jesus the judge jesus the just jesus the faithful jesus the provider we acknowledge you tonight spirit of the living god you have come as a representation of that glorious presence we ask oh god that you will bless your people let this not be a ritual a waste of time in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you see brothers and sisters when we do these things it's not an invention of man to run a service everything that is of god god does not leave men to guess how to do it there is a pattern are we together your own is to discover that pattern and foolishly sometimes childlikely walk in it results are for children in the kingdom 
those who can be childlike enough and say lord if a dance is the secret to this breakthrough i will dance oh. if my tears is the secret i will cry mm. if it takes my worship i will give it if it takes my obedience i will give this this human invention will never give us the kind of results we are looking for he said let the little children come to me he said and do not forbid them for for such in other words that is the template that is the state it takes to receive from god you see the miracles that happen in this ministry when i sit down and i listen to the testimonies let me tell you this i am as not necessarily surprised but i am as blessed as those who are listening i also come looking forward to hearing what god has done because let me tell you something god doesn't have an advisor so when we come to him we we wait to see his wisdom what he has done and he's doing in the life of men nicodemus came to jesus in john chapter 3 by night he said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god he said for no man that means this result is not in the realm of men no man can do this thing however if god be with that man then it can be possible so the secret is god we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man no man can cause the barren to have a child no man can cause hiv to go brothers and sisters if it was easy even herbalists would not be looking for customers as as fetish as it is they too they are trying so when you see us worship him like this and sometimes do foolish things you see people rolling that's how it is so that's the ancient secret stupid people in his presence who do foolish things foolish enough for them to fail and he picks them up because you see when you declare to god that you don't have any other option you put pressure on his integrity and you commit him hallelujah if this is all we do this service to just sing and dance and roll i tell you we can roll from left to right and that's how someone will be rolling his reproach away never participate when you are in a service and there's a time for extreme worship especially when god by his sovereign hand begins to extend there is a way you know that this one is no longer what was rehearsed this is god extending the spirit of god is now coming in because he knows what you are looking for and he's directing you on the path to get it the flesh will fight because your reputation will come in the flesh will fight because you say i'm tired oh, bring the rema god is not in this place as a tenant he's here as the lord the master the owner the guide we only follow unashamedly hallelujah praise the lord god bless you and the lord honor you please sit down we're going to be very brief tonight tonight i want to minister to people um so i'll be very i'll just wrap up the gift of the spirit very quickly i sensed a very strong grace to minister to people and that's what i want to do um very briefly we'll just wrap it up and so i, I want it to be very very sensitive i want to bring out a prophetic word that the lord gave me listen this is especially please listen this was on tuesday 9 24 a.m in the morning tuesday 17th this is what the lord told me and listen especially worshipers he says restore the ministry of the stringed instrument restore the ministry of the stringed instrument i called them and i said you people should get me a guitar restore the ministry of the stringed instrument there is a move of god that the stringed instrument will bring this is what god told me restore the ministry of you see this thing you see you people don't have an acoustic guitar here bring it jesus will lift up your name please quickly 
Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. Hallelujah. Now, please look up. You see, this thing you see is not an instrument. It's a formula. Spiritual things, spiritual things are formulas. The clash of the symbol is a formula. The keyboard and the sound that comes out is a formula. The string instrument was a mystery David understood. He said, praise him with the ten stringed instrument. Are we together? Yes. There is a sign that I can give you. Because I've not taught you to understand the meaning, you would think I'm talking nonsense. But the person I've trained to discern, I can tell you, Jimmy, every time you hear ha ha, it means stand up. You will not stand up because you don't understand. So while you are playing the guitar, your mind is unfruitful, but your spirit in connection with the Holy Spirit understands the exact communication. There was a move of God in this city that this instrument brought everybody was learning it whether they knew it or not they were not learning it by skill they were moved holy men were moved by the spirit to help him introduce a thing you see let me tell you we must be like the sons of Issachar we must sustain an understanding to know when the spirit of God is moving in a certain way and this is what the Lord spoke to me on Tuesday I asked them I said you guys should look for a guitar quickly and bring it set this up and play something play minus where's david dam just or anybody just sit down let it let it join what we are doing and just play this he said restore the ministry of the stringed instrument the ministry that psalmistry the hallmark of psalmistry was not singing it was the stringed instrument there was something that david played it was a language that the demons understood and they left the lord told me there is a move of the spirit that this stringed instrument will bring so wherever you have kept your guitar dust it even if it's three keys you can learn sit in the night and just play and sing and let songs come from the spirit there are no songs you will teach anybody. You will even forget it. The songs are for the lifetime of your worship at that moment. When the worship is over, you won't remember the song again. There were realities captured from the Spirit to help you. Take, you see, let's understand what the Spirit is saying. Because when God is speaking like this, there is an intention. So He tells you by His Spirit, This is what I want to do. This is how I want to move like i want to come to your house and i tell you that that I, I want to come to your house and you hear me telling you that i want to eat rice and chicken i have told you what i want to it is left for you to honor me you can decide to cook yam and say i i made up my mind to, your cooking rice is a sign that you honor me because i told you this is what i want there is a move of the spirit i say it again there are nations over 45 47 nations hearing us following us i'm saying this to all it doesn't matter what time zone and what nation there is a move of the spirit that the stringed instrument will bring the grace that was on miriam it was miriam that wrote that song on the stringed instrument that i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously to the point that the Bible even told us in Revelations that we will sing the songs of Moses. Moses was not a musician, but there was an order of the spirit. There was something. Let me tell you, the spirit of prophecy is one of the mysteries that are tied to the string instrument. He said, bring me a mistrel. And while he played, the hand of God came upon him and he said, you shall not see wind. You shall not see rain you shall not see wind you shall not see rain you shall not see wind where's the bidam he's gone he's not around just play up not you shall not see wind he's called the god of jeshurun it's a name not many people know the god that rides upon the wings 
he writes remember that when the angel came in the days of samson menoah he set a sacrifice it was through the sacrifice that the angel rose and went there are healings there are miracles i'm going to round up on the gift of the spirit but i want you to be sensitive god wants to do something hallelujah god wants to do something any of the overflows it doesn't matter where just be sensitive just be sensitive be sensitive be sensitive i'm seeing like a crown of fire this is what i'm seeing coming on people's heads inside outside i'm seeing like a crown this is what the lord is showing me and this is taking people to another dimension the lord is saying you have encompassed this level it's time for you to be open to a new dimension you will never be the same never be the same it is by the spirit by the spirit there are limitations that has kept you this thing is like an enthronement it's not everybody but there are few people it's for you that's why you came for the meeting is a ranking in the spirit something is being deposited in your spirit man that will give you capacity let's just flow with the spirit Adonai 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 there is no one like you Zion's king incense rise hearts resound Adonai 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 Hallelujah 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 I'm seen like a knife please just allow me to do my stupid is is it all right if I just flow in the spirit is that okay I'm seen like a knife a knife and this is like deliverance for families I'm seen like a not a sword a knife a knife and God is saying he's bringing to end captivity captivity over families he's bringing to end it doesn't matter how long it is it's like a knife a knife is not warfare a knife is sacrifice God is saying there's something you have done your sacrifice has risen like an incense to the heavens and God is responding to it tonight sacrifice 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 i'm still seeing this knife everywhere overflow one two around everywhere god is visiting families there is something about your prayer you have been praying for months lord will you not arise and god says i am still the god of jeshua the one that arises on the wings of the wings the god of jeshua Adonai, Adonai, of Israel. Adonai, Adonai, there is no king just like you, rich and powerful of love, majestic throne of Zion. King, incense rise, hearts we sound. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer and then we'll sit down. Hallelujah. I'm seeing horses, chariots, chariots running, and the Lord is saying He's bringing His word to pass. 
over people's lives this is not everybody but i'm seeing chariots chariots and i speak it by the spirit i speak it by the spirit i'm seeing chariots and god is saying he's bringing his word is is a chariot remember there is one that rides upon the horse in revelations he said his name is the word of god the one upon the horse given a name that no man knew he had a name written upon his tie fire came out from him and devoured them he said his name is the word of god we release performance we release performance grace for performance i don't know what god has told you but we release the grace for performance grace for performance there is a grace that reveals things but there is a grace that makes what is revealed happens there is a grace that reveals things but there is a grace that makes what is revealed happen grace for performance grace for performance please sit down if you can let's just be sensitive whatever position just sit somewhere and let's just talk God is doing something heavy this night God is doing something heavy this night I don't know who this is for but the Lord is saying I'm rolling away your reproach I'm rolling away your reproach I'm rolling away your reproach someone's reproach is rolling I'm rolling away your reproach I'm rolling away your reproach that's what God is saying I'm rolling away your reproach I keep speaking like this because of what I'm seeing I'm rolling away your reproach 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 I'm seeing a family no marriage I'm rolling away your reproach I'm rolling away your reproach please help them I'm rolling away your reproach I'm seeing someone you have spilled over like twice I'm rolling away your reproach the Lord is saying I'm rolling away your reproach you may not see wind brothers and sisters you may not see rain but my God is rolling away your reproach don't ask how it will happen I told you it's called the God of Jeshurun. Don't ask how it will happen. No. Don't ask how it will happen. Mary said, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man. For with men it is impossible. But with God, with God, with God. When you bring God inside the equation, everything changes. Everything everything changes <sighs> hallelujah please be seated if you can ah. when the waters is stirred like this it takes an extra grace to now settle down and teach We must learn to be sensitive when god comes like this it's not the display of the anointing of a man no no it is the desperation of the needs of god's people rising from heaven god is a god that cares but until he finds vessels that can allow him space it will look as if he does not care Help us, Holy Spirit. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Jesus. You can find someone and sit, David. Just strum them and play it. And then um, let's see how far God will take us tonight. Amen. 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 Where did we stop? Let me talk about interpretation of tongues. We're still on the gifts of the Spirit. 
Why am I teaching the gift of the Spirit? Because they are the equippings of the Spirit to individuals and to the body to help us to be effective. Zeal is not enough in serving God. We must have the empowerment. And saying you are anointed is generic. The anointing is like saying you have food in your house. Food can be anything. The gifts of the Spirit defines the operations of God. I already told us that there are not nine gifts of the Spirit. The Bible never records that there are nine gifts of the Spirit. Paul gave that theological classification. The whole theme of um, 1 Corinthians 12, 13, 14 is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, that all things be done decently and in order. So, Paul was creating an apostolic system to coordinate the operation of the gifts so that it will edify the body and then not destroy the people. But he never taught us that there were nine gifts. The classification was just a theological guide to help the people. The gifts of the spirit are as vast as his person. There are dimensions you will see operating that you may not exactly find it in the Bible there. And if you do not have this understanding, you can reject it in a bid to not come under the influence of a spirit. Of course, theologically speaking, we can agree that there are nine gifts as revealed from scripture. But when you walk with God, you will find out that there are operations, there are administrations, and there are diversities. So Paul told us that. The interpretation of tongues. I will run very quickly. That's where we stopped. The interpretation of tongues is the ability to translate divine utterances into an earthly recognizable language for the purpose of reception and edification the ability to translate divine utterances the ability to translate divine utterances into an earthly recognizable language for the purpose of reception and edification it was Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 who taught, he said, though I speak with tongues of men and tongues of angels. So he lets us know that there are languages. The word tongue is an ancient English word for language. There are languages that are given to men. Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, you know, and all of that. But there are languages of angels. There are heavenly communications that are out of the scope of the natural man. And there are times that God grants people access to communicate these languages. Are we together? That's what the Bible calls the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. We settled that already that the gift of diverse kinds of tongues is not the same as the gift of tongues as a prayer language. No. The gift of diverse kinds of tongues is prophecy in a heavenly language, in an unknown language. A spiritual communication that is prophetic in nature. To the body god speaking to people through a vessel in a language that is not known by the communicator and this gift the interpretation of tongues must come upon the same communicator or another person to translate it into an earthly language so that the people can say amen let it come we receive we believe we receive we release our faith this has happened to many of us while we pray it's just because it sounds like your tongues for prayer so you will not know the difference but when you begin to grow to be spiritual you will get to a point where when you are praying you know that this is not your prayer language of tongues again this is an intercourse happening between you and the spirit is a language many times you will find yourself interpreting it by yourself like prophecy or you will find somebody who is not even connected to your prayer shouting your answer somewhere on the floor while you are there praying someone is rolling near a roof or a door somewhere prophesying your answer are we together kenneth e hagen walked very lavishly in all the nine gifts as we know and many times in his meeting he walked very strongly much more than any man of god i know in the gift of diverse kinds of tongues and interpretation of tongues you watch his materials and you see him many times prophesying in fact he was so meticulous in his communication there are times that he would talk and stop himself you say no this is not consistent with the spirit of god rebuke himself and start again look for another tongues 
the gift of interpretation of tongues it is needed there are communications let me tell you the truth there are many things god has been telling us but we do not sustain this gift that's why we do not understand the bible says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches that means the spirit is speaking but his system of communication among others is the ability to grant you access to revelations through a coded language that is heavenly we see an example of that in the days of belshazzar the bible says while they were celebrating in the temple with the vessels that they captured from the house of god all of a sudden a finger wrote on the wall mene mene tekel ufesen it was a language that was not known they used divination astrology they could not figure it out and when daniel came he looked at it and then he sustained this ability now he didn't know that this was a, the gift of the spirit did not start working in the new testament they were coordinated and theologically explained in the new testament the gift of the spirit have been as long as human vessels gave god room to manifest so daniel came and by this gift he said he looked at it and said mene mene oh king this is what god is saying whether they understood or not god will still punish the king for sure he was just informing them oh king you have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting this day your kingdom is taken from you that was the speakings of god but it took a man who had this understanding to communicate it the next gift quickly prophecy prophecy first corinthians chapter first corinthians let me open there so that i'll be sure that fourteen now first corinthians fourteen there's one verse okay verse three first corinthians fourteen and verse three paul still speaking he said but he that prophesieth speaketh on speaketh unto men to what edification and exhaustion and comfort he that prophesies he that prophesies speaks to men your prophecy should do three things number one edification building exhortation and then comfort what is prophecy the supernatural ability to reveal events informations the supernatural ability to reveal events and information prophecy is always futuristic in context except where it is a declaration of the word of god over a situation the manifestation of prophecy the character of the prophetic is such that the communications are of things that have not physically manifested yet are we together now when it is past and present that's the word of knowledge the gift of the word of knowledge oh pastor alpha this happened today this is what god is doing now that's word of knowledge this is what god is going to do tomorrow by this time tomorrow that was not word of knowledge that was prophecy are we together now now let me tell you this every prophet everybody called into the prophetic office must have this gift at work in him but not everybody manifesting the gift of prophecy is a prophet are we together here is the confusion the fact that i'm seeing things and saying things does not mean i am i can be called into the prophetic office for a long time and never see anything and never foretell yet i am a prophet an example enoch was a prophet there's not much we see about enoch's prophecy john the baptist was not just a prophet the greatest of all the prophets until christ yet he did very little of revelation there are very few times we just see him acknowledging and say behold the lamb of god who takes the sin of the world and said the one who trained me in the wilderness told me the one upon whom i see the spirit descending not much was said in terms of you know prophecy to nations like jeremiah and the rest 
are we together prophecy is a very powerful gift now i know that there has been an abuse of the prophetic you know like um i don't know who was sharing testimony here there are marriages that are broken because of prophets and prophecies there are individuals whose lives have been destroyed because of prophecy and all of that there are people who were doing well until a prophetic word came into their lives is that true they made them leave their wives leave their husband give away their children sell their property give their car and all kinds of things there must be a balance in the communication of the prophetic now i don't have time to now tell you the history of the prophetic in nigeria and africa specifically but i just want you to know something about prophecy everybody listen prophecy is very important for the end time now it is true that there are imbalances it is true that there is a lot of falsehood there are people who have developed such a resentment for prophecy justifiable re resentment because of the way it has been misused and has been merchandised people have extracted money from people in the name of the lord people have forced people into marriages that are not the will of god because of all kinds of hilarious visions and dreams that came from everybody match make people into doom just because of this you see that the bible tells us certain things about prophecy we must take note of number one is that we see in part and we prophesy in part this is a very big revelation the most accurate of all of us still sees in part and prophesies in part number two the word of god has given to us the bible calls it a more sure word more dependable more reliable meaning if i never have an individual speak a prophetic word over my life and i can have access to the word the word of god will carry out that prophetic ministry over my life this is very important number three this the prophetic is the office with the highest propensity of falsehood you hardly hear false apostles you hardly hear false evangelists you hardly hear false teachers false pastors but you hear in the bible repeated false prophets again and again and again because of the inclination with the realm of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a is a realm like the physical realm the realm of the spirit is not heaven that you are open to the realm of the spirit does not mean you are open to heaven any spirit that can access the realm of the spirit has an advantage over this realm including that of a herbalist so that someone is communicating a, a divine information that is out of the scope of the physical realm does not mean it is of god this should not create cynicism that's why every true manifestation of prophecy must be within the boundaries of the word of god are we together watch this come pastor alpha if I stand and God opens my eyes please listen or the Holy Spirit speaks to me or I have a vision prophetic now and I see pastor Alpha having an accident are we together now or in my vision for instance I see pastor Alpha beating his lovely wife now you see I have received that my renewal is what will be responsible for the way to be transferred I judge what I see and I know that it is not consistent with the character of God are we together now my understanding the word of God and understanding the nature of God will be the template I will use in interpreting that prophecy you don't expect me to look and say pastor alpha now so this is how you are beating your wife no 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 automatically I know that God is revealing to me the plot of the enemy over his life so the nature of my speaking to him will be such that this is what the devil wants to do but then victory i don't have to see victory it is part of being a word addict to prophesy the victory and say i see it but this addition is consistent with the word of god if all i say is madam next week you are going to receive a beating from your husband if it does not happen i'm not a man of god you see i may have seen correctly 
but my lack of understanding the word of God has misinterpreted it and by so doing you have misrepresented God over this situation am I fake no am I renewed no and it's misrepresenting God every manifestation of the prophetic must be with a very thorough understanding of not just the word of God but the character of God what God can do and what God cannot do are we together now yes there are things I will see about pastor alpha I will not even need to tell him you see that my understanding of God is and my knowledge of God and the gravity of what I have seen is such that if I tell pastor alpha the nature of what I've told him will occupy his mind and put fear and so I judge what I'm about to say on the strength of certain things God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind number two Philippians 4 verse 8 says finally brethren whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are true my introducing that word has a propensity to corrupting his work with God so I will reserve that prophecy and intercede for him if in the place of intercession the Holy Spirit beckons on me to still reveal to him then I can come and reveal to him in such a way that I exalt the power of God above that situation interpretation interpretation is as dangerous wrong interpretation is as dangerous as error and lies listen I can be here right now are, are you are you getting blessed I can be seated here right now and all of a sudden God will open my eyes watch this I can see a Jimmy in a vision and see pastor Alpha's wife and then see two of them holding a child did I see correctly yes now you look at this complicated vision I, I coined a vision like this for on purpose now what is this mystery I'm seeing a Jimmy is married with his wife and his children now I'm seeing a Jimmy standing pastor Alpha's wife standing and they are holding a child let me tell you what a very foolish man of God will do you will bring that thing like that with the heat that it came with from the realm of the spirit and tell a Jimmy's wife I say, madam just many things are happening that's what I what are you doing you are destroying someone's marriage it's not consistent with the will of god are we seeing now you are planting distrust between pastor alpha and his wife are we together now when you see a thing like that your first assignment is to be able to judge by the operation of the word what mean at these things it could be similarity in visions it could mean similarity in operation that there is a gift that baby being a representation of a dimension of the spirit that is being birthed that is similar to a Jimmy and the wife are you seeing that now but because you have not taken out time to judge you just say everything and destroy people's lives another example let me have a lady come my dear my come let's assume that these people are a wonderful couple husband and wife are we together they came for koinonia and now let's assume i'm a foolish man of god and i have seen this kind of thing watch this i'm not i'm not being cynical you know that i love the body of christ and all i'm just trying to give us understanding because this is a very serious thing that has destroyed people's lives now this is husband and wife do you know watch this god can open my eyes and I can look at this lady in the spirit and see how it haunts. Yes. The nature of spiritual interpretation is such that, you see, the realm of the spirit, you know how you watch cartoon or some of these scientific movies. That's how the realm of the spirit really works. I can look and see this woman with horns and just tap the husband and say, Oh God, you mean how long did you say you have been with this woman? And I just clap my hands and I say, That you arrived here and this woman didn't kill you. The innocent woman is standing and saying i love this man with all my heart what is this nonsense you are saying are you seeing now now the man of god truly saw a horn and he's saying i know what i saw this woman is a witch oga your whole business and your life has not been working and it is true your life has not been working but because this person does not understand the character and the operation of the kingdom his interpretation is faulty 
are we together now and then i now tell him mr man the best thing to do is to do what abraham did to hagar are we together now i will justify that because that story is in the bible i told you that the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything you want that it is in the bible does not mean it is of god the part in the bible that resonates with god's character is the word of god are we together now so i look at this what god may be revealing to me listen is that there is a problem it is true that there may be a problem in this woman's life it could be hereditary it could be an operation of darkness that satan is trying to bring he may not even have anything to do with her directly that has an effect on his marriage but because i do not understand it i destroy this dear lady's life embarrass her in the presence of everybody a business partner let's assume she's doing poultry a business partner that wants to make order of 500 chickens will cancel that thing after that prayer why will you want a witch to to bring chickens for you so that you're, you're, you you understand that kind of thing it's not easy to be a witch let me tell you this let me tell you this listen 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 don't go and study occultism but let me be honest with you the condition to be a witch this witch that we talk about and with witchcraft and wizardry in its in its most acute form is not something a human being can just become like that the condition to be a witch is the condition to receive the mark of the beast please help the person under the anointing so this dear lady now imagine that she's your choir mistress and you are a choir member will you listen to her again when you went for the program and you saw what happened and the worst part of it is if i now touch her and she falls down ah that's it that's the final proof that this woman is a, and then the devil now starts using her face to oppress members are you seeing now just like some of you see the faces of innocent people and get up and hate them for nothing and the devil plays with your not understanding the word of god it's a rightly dividing the word jesus looks at peter watch this peter just finished confessing that he was the son of god and then peter talks to jesus no 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 will you go to the cross and he looks at him and says get thee behind me satan and peter is looking at him and jesus understood that if he left peter like that peter may not have been an apostle peter would have been depressed to death after three years of working with you you call me a devil and say no 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 peter let me explain to you that's what every man of god should do now that you have rebuked because of your spirit intelligence must come in he said satan desired to sift you satan and you are two different people desire to sift you like wheat all that shout was not hatred for you i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren are you seeing that now that's why you can see people manifest sometimes they are manifesting receiving impartations other times they are manifesting and demons and, and all of that we thank god for that spiritual intelligence here that's why people can get up manifesting and not feel bad and not feel like the whole world is against them are we together now thank you god bless you prophecy must submit to the word of god for it to be accurate when prophecy becomes emotional when it becomes cultural when it becomes just a raw delivery of everything seen in the realm of the spirit it becomes a weapon of mass destruction the purpose of prophecy is for edification for exhaustion exhortation and for comfort prophecy does not condemn prophecy does not destroy even when god spoke to the prophets in the old testament he would always tell them what to do Nineveh, i'm about to destroy you people and this is what will happen however they declared a fast and the mercy of god came in remember the bible says the lord is full of 
grace the lord is gracious and compassionate right full of love i mean how did he put it now um rich in love the lord is merciful and compassionate he's rich in love his mercies are new every morning those of us here who are seeing visions having dreams document these things and seek guidance first especially when you are beginning to walk in the gifts of the spirit be careful don't authoritatively go and meet people they have a lot of respect for you and they will listen to everything i am careful when i speak to people because even when i joke they don't take it lightly i can be joking with somebody and say ah god bless you and the person wants to kneel down and i'm saying i'm a human being this is not anointing i'm joking just joking with you and you see the thing about the anointing is every time there is a demand whether you are joking or not that person can now fall down now embarrass me there and make it look as if you know i hardly have people to play with it's a very this this anointing sometimes is a very your life can be very very lonely someone sees you are trying to smile and the person is already believing that maybe it's, it's a word from god i am a human being jesus ate corn in the farm on sunday remember jesus was with a woman and they were talking i mean please and i think some of us is some of us men of god that make this happen you know the way we spiritualize it and make it look as if you are in the spirit every time it's a lie it's a lie it's a lie bible say walking in the spirit yes but it's not in the character of you can't smile you can't do anything you feel bad if if i am angry and i slap david dam's head I should just say sorry i shouldn't make it look as if it's the holy spirit that made me do it no this is i'm a human being i was carried away i got emotional and touched his head i'm a human being jesus was angry did he say it was the holy spirit who made him angry no prophecy but we need it now the last thing i'll say about prophecy before we move on is the fact that you must never resent it the resentment we have for prophecy we have mixed the baby and the bad water and thrown it away there are two dimensions of prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy there is the creative dimension of prophecy the revelatory dimension has to do with insight and information about people situations nations like jeremiah the creative dimension of prophecy is when you have the word of god alongside the grace for performance when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not revealing he was creating are we together now we must desire it the church that rejects the prophetic is going to be in trouble prophecy is very important a man's life can change overnight because of prophecy we have there are many of us if only we embrace the ministry of prophecy we would have left this realm left the current dimensions that we are, we are in but we've been grounded because of a cynicism the moment you see someone saying the lord is ah please all you this stupid especially if he's a young one that's why they see everybody they mix join all of us together and just throw all of us and make it look as if we're all demons no no hallelujah nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it nothing happens in the earth realm until prophecy announces it prophecy is not just a revelation it's an authorization for spiritual things to find expression all through scripture you see angels bringing messages and heralding them before those occurrences begin to happen let's go to the next gift faith there is the law of faith an operation of faith there is the spirit of faith there is the gift of faith what is the gift of faith an unusual ability to believe God an unusual ability to believe God that is higher and greater than your current world level 
higher and greater than your level of spiritual exposure there are times because you see generally speaking your faith level is proportionate to the level of the word of god that is in you your level of understanding of scripture and the ways of god is commensurate to your faith there are certain challenging situations in your life in leadership there are times that you need to bring certain realities from the realm of the spirit that is higher and bigger than your personal work with god at that point you don't just need the law of faith you need the gift of faith the gift of faith is always short-lived because under that influence of the gift of faith anything uttered will come to pass it is the reason why god does not leave people to work with it for a long time because our own renewedness would destroy people's lives the gift of faith is the operation of the faith of god not faith in god the very faith of god working in a human vessel the faith that created the heavens and the earth not the word of god the very faith of god an impartation of that faith to help you command realities that otherwise will not come that's why the gift of faith works peri with the working of miracles there are certain situations that are challenging higher than you do not even understand the dynamics of that result as it is but the gift of faith comes upon you the character of the gift of faith is unusual courage and audacity unusual courage it has happened to many of us in the place of prayer fear takes you to the place of prayer and you are praying and prophesying praying and all of a sudden an ability comes upon you and you begin to speak and say audacious things not even caring who is listening later when you hear what you say even you you are embarrassed by it it's a sign that you are not the one who said it i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ tomorrow by nine o'clock a helper is appearing and your neighbor is watching you say hey, hey i just gave this guy one spaghetti and this that's not you because uh, let me tell you how you know that's not you by 12 30 you will sit down and say hey, why did i now embarrass myself you call it an embarrassment because your your original faith level has returned now and you are seeing that that faith level cannot accommodate that level of miracle but god had to move through you and truly you will see that a miracle will happen that's why you give him glory when it happens when they say man of god you quickly turn and say god is you one of the hallmark of the apostolic ministry is the gift of faith the gift of faith daring things by the gift that's why those who are called in the apostolic ministry if they don't allow the holy spirit to work on them usually they are very very arrogant very outspoken sometimes very sarcastic it's a side effect that comes with the office your intimacy with the holy spirit is a secret to correcting it so that i walk in an apostolic office and i am arrogant and sarcastic and outspoken and some of these wrong things i may say it is how it is no your work with the holy spirit was designed to correct it it's like you are cooking in the kitchen the moment you put i i don't i don't have any business with the kitchen but i'm just saying what i remember i know that when you put palm oil in a hot pot what happens there's a side effect the whole kitchen and maybe the neighboring environment it can be choking does that mean you should stop the cooking people are hungry they are waiting for the meal but then you have to create a way of managing it so most times before women will start they will do it outside or they will open the window in advance that's how you work you must create a system with god to cover for the side effect that that operation comes you don't choke people and say you are you are boiling palm oil no if i keep insulting pastor alpha stupid you are crazy you are you are you are, you are a stupid person and then i say it is the anointing no it is not the anointing it is the effect of the anointing um yes but then the unrenewed part of me mixing with the anointing is what produces that outcome it can be corrected hallelujah that's why when paul finished giving us an exegesis of all the gifts of the spirit he said i show you a more excellent way a more excellent way of administering the gifts 
that if they do not walk by love you are not operating the more excellent way are we together every one of us here will require this gift if you must get results in your life a day will come when your faith level cannot take the kind of miracles you need the urgency around it will require the gift of faith there are times you see during the miracle service i'm just walking and looking at people and i know that ah this situation is very challenging sometimes the people are waiting for me to come please help that person under the anointing and then the person can just whisper sorry sir i have hiv and this hiv self it's not just me me my wife and my child you don't have to tell everybody now you are standing there or someone is saying he has tuberculosis and he's coughing in in your coughing before your face and you are inhaling the thing if this thing is not working in you you do this for five years the probability of catching tuberculosis is 100 percent 100 percent that's why we tell people to work with god before they begin to move in certain levels of ministry it's not pride you will if i've been faking this thing by now you will see it it would destroy you one day because you are laying hands on people it's not this laying on of hands is not something you do just because you are anointed that's why sometimes you see me pray for these people before we allow them to go it's not it's not some man of god thing you are contending spirits you can carry problems you have no business carrying leave someone land upon your life you finish that service you go back have you not seen people who ministered to the sick and what was on them the person went back to sleep the um, one leg did not he didn't he could not lift one leg again that boomerang effect i believe in the gift of faith let me submit to you that where god has brought us by his grace in this ministry it's an operation of the gift of faith there was a year let me tell you a little story there was a year when early that year before koinonia will start god gave an instruction that we should carry every one naira in this ministry and sow it as a seed one week to koinonia resuming i can't remember which of the years was that everything i said god everything now let me tell you, you better make sure that that gift is working in your life because that's suicidal not that you should carry a sizable seed and go and give empty everything close everything and i did it foolishly and stupidly i submit to you in less than seven days more than 10 times that amount return that's faith you need it some of us right now you wrote your exams humanly speaking you are not going to graduate one you wrote nonsense two you didn't finish you need the gift of faith you need the gift of faith are we together yes there are wicked supervisors ready to make sure they frustrate you how about getting a job you keep carrying your certificate to everybody and say sorry we don't need what you studied and at a point you feel bad and say is it my fault that i studied this one day while you are praying the gift of faith comes on you and you make declarations by the spirit all of a sudden someone calls you you need it it is given to help believers our families many of us our families are in a mess we need the operation of this gift to correct things you see that lady that testified that was what was working in her the dear lady that said she went home gather your relatives what if it doesn't work do you know what it, you can be stupid by yourself but to gather relatives who are not born again and then it doesn't work Abba. the gift of faith when you have plan b it is your faith when there is no plan b it is the gift of if i perish that's what was on esther when she was on her way going to meet ahasuerus the destiny of the nation of israel was at stake and she entered if i perish ask her to say it after that time she won't be able to say it again hallelujah that was the grace that was at work in moses when moses went before god he said why are you crying to me 
Moses said, what is all this? Two million people are shouting. These guys are going to kill me. You don't know how hard, how, how hard, hard hearted they are. And God says, go and, and part the rivers. Theologically, historically speaking, um, historians tell us that it's not like the river parted and they told people now walk. Do you know the miracles that happened there? Even if the river parted, there's going to be space on the ground. Are you going to jump down? Won't you die? So the ground had to lift and come up to where they were for them to be able to walk through it. And Moses took his rod, stood before two point something million people and said, people, the Egyptians you see today, that's the spirit of faith. I speak to someone or oh, the Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus Christ after this meeting you will see them no more forever I say it again the Egyptians you see today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ whose faith is at work here you will see them no more after today please sit down the gift of faith a man of God true story many of you will know him pastor Korede Komaya um, I think it was Bishop Aremu's wife Bishop Aremu's wife she, she you know they have twins and she was sitting with the man's wife and then looked at him and said ah you said how many children do you have and she I think she had just maybe one or two then and she looked at her and carried her uh, what is the, this thing ladies tie their head tie and threw it on her and said take twins Joe that was it the woman got pregnant twins gave birth that's not guess that's not guess when you see it happen sometimes I see it happen I'm surprised somebody can come and while he's talking and giving every long explanation apostle this is happening it's like prophecy I don't even know when it comes out of my mouth I just say it is done go and you see the person living disappointed you didn't even wait for me to finish i struggled i joined the line i humbled myself what is all this let me express and then the person goes back and things change the gift of faith is powerful are we blessed the gift of healing jesus i wish i had time to dwell on this maybe we'll take another series next year what is notice that the bible does not say the gift of healing he said the gifts g-i-f-t-s the gifts of healing what is it the ability to bring physical and emotional healing to people the ability to supernaturally bring physical and emotional healing you know years ago i really used to laugh at white people when i see all of them every little thing they cry every little thing they cry how did you get here and she's trying to explain just that there was a delay with taxi and then she starts crying they give her a hunger they say, what sort of human beings are this i mean just anything makes them cry men women but as i grew in leadership i found out that emotional brokenness is worse than physical sickness the bible says a broken spirit dry at the bones there is a way a man can be emotionally devastated and die not by any physical sickness are we together emotional wounds are created because of words and circumstances they are more hurtful if i slap you and the sign of my hand is on your face it won't reach two days that thing will disappear correct but if i speak something negative about your life you can hold that word for 10 years and it will not leave you is that true the same thing how many of you have seen people with diabetes and you see an injury that will not heal it looks like it will not and that's exactly what happens to the spirits of people hence the ministry of people like Joyce Mayer and all of this you can look at them and feel ah no falling down no shouting I tell you the truth they are doing a major healing ministry 95% of Africans before age 15 have been raped by wicked words from the ones who call you stupid to the one who called you idiot to your teacher who said you will have a big head you are dull to the mistakes you made to the fact that you were the oldest person in your class Baba class 4 you don't know those things were affecting you a broken spirit 
you get to school and everybody's harassing you people look at you and say i hope you know you're a very ugly lady i'm sorry i have to just tell you my mind and the person thinks he's being bold those that accumulation demon spirits find a safe haven in that mindset and it destroys you and you find out anything god tells you you just look at him and say god use somebody those kinds of words are reflections of emotions that have been broken that's why worship like this creates that kind of healing you can raise a song and while everybody is laughing only one person is crying that person is getting healed at the end of it is like it. you know how you bath someone just feels light feels i have been healed from this i have counseled people and i am amazed at the things people go through and yet they still smile and walk there are people if they give you half of the emotional load on their head it will kill you instantly yet they are carrying it and saying hallelujah praise the lord ah the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies there are many of our parents when they lost their last job they never got another one again do you know why because the way they disgraced them and drove them out of that company it was so embarrassing and they said i can't i can't do this to myself again sir but you're a phd holder no i rather remain poor after 10 years how about those who but please don't feel bad those who marriage did not work for have you seen people like that and after 20 years you tell them it's okay now i think you can get back i know okay maybe your wife died or something happened and they tell you look the memory is still as fresh as yesterday have you seen people say i will never forgive you till jesus comes that's what emotional devastation can do there are people here as i'm talking god is healing you from this because let me tell you it's a luggage oh i was raped when i was two years i was raped when i was five years the house boy that worked for us raped me some of us were raped by our own parents sadly are we together and you grow and those things are still in your mind i can never make it you wrote wire 10 times jam 11 times there is no understanding of favor so every time we say god is favoring people you don't look and say is it me you are talking to healing if you are not healed and god ever gives you an opportunity to be a leader you will judge everything from the template of your emotional wounds if someone laughs at you you say why are you laughing at me because you remember that that's how they laughed at you to mock you the person was laughing rejoicing with you but your cynicism you see that your wife just looks and says, ah my husband my husband i say please i don't like disrespect i say ah my husband i have told you this is how my mother did this is uh, must everybody know i'm the last one it's not about that situation there is something that has created a wound in you Are we together there are some of you they use all kinds of words you had nicknames ugly nicknames and cliches some of you used to urinate in secondary school or primary school although you were it was a situation that required prayer and the adults there did not have spiritual intelligence to help and this i remember that time they will gather the person who is easy himself and sing songs and dance dance around dance and the person who the person who stand like this with your bed sheet that you who urinated what a way of destroying people don't ever do that to anybody how about brothers that blast ladies you are not fine you are not this and they say i i i, I gave it to her well, how about the ladies that blast a guy she blasted him in 99 till now he has not approached any lady every time he wants to go that wound god is bringing deliverance in the name of jesus christ but there is a physical healing there is the physical healing the healing ministry is needed more than ever before i was listening to benny Hinn not too long before i came and you know i hear him read these healing scriptures and i am touched we need to bring the healing power of god back to the church i tell you this 
there's too much there is very little of genuine healing not everybody's in a wheelchair but let me tell you there are people who need physical healing physical healing how god acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed healing oppressed healing oppressed every sickness is an oppression from headache to your hair falling to all of this i remember i think it was in mina or so when i saw a very touching miracle a gentleman that has never smelled anything in his life doesn't know how you put perfume he just looks at you you know what a bad way to live what of those who don't hear well what of those who don't see well all kinds of sicknesses the first time i would pray for a lady years ago and the lady told me she had no womb i don't mean something was wrong no womb anybody that doesn't believe in miracles don't argue with the person the day the doctor cannot help you i promise you you must believe I believe in the healing power of Jesus or a robot will say this every day of his life I am called to bring the healing power of Jesus to the nations he believed it are we together there are people here seated looking at me who have all kinds of things incurable diseases every time a medical predicament defies drugs and medical attention then there is a spirit behind it are we together now yes and let me say something about the gift of healing most people have been indoctrinated in the church to hate doctors and hate medicine i will never teach that you will never hear me teach that i believe in divine health i believe in all of this but day and night we are taking people to the hospital to take care of them we have lots of doctors here a few of them will be doctors by next week or week after next and all of that we we have a lot of our doctors yes you, you actually can clap i mean it's not all of them smiling already they will come and dance before god here to the shame of the devil so please don't get into this resentment i can't take drugs you are about dying just panadol will solve that problem now of course there are times that you stretch your feet if you stretch it and it doesn't seem to work take the panadol cure yourself and keep studying the word there is a realm of divine health i believe that are we together but we must never stigmatize people so you see people secretly buying drugs they buy malaria drugs they run and take injection for five days and come and hold the mic and say in the last 10 years i've not even taken paracetamol let's 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 be honest let's fear god jesus is called the great physician 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 say is there no bam in gilead praise god i believe in medicine and when you pray for people especially over a sensitive case don't stop them from taking their normal medication when they become healed medicine will confirm it are we together now especially for maybe hiv patients or people with some terminal diseases there are many pastors who have killed innocent people they prayed for the HIV patient, for instance, and said, Do you believe? Yes. Stop taking your antiretroviral drugs. And the person was very fine. But now, after four or five months, you find out that the person started emaciating and the person died. When you pray for someone and it does not work, please take the person to the hospital. If you yourself are sick and you've prayed and prayed and nothing works, you can still be declaring the word of God. Medicine is still a miracle you don't talk to the drug you swallow it the drug finds where your problem is the whole pharmacology behind that drug is a miracle so don't don't act as if you didn't tell the drug come to my ears you just swallowed it it's a miracle by god's grace we will never discourage people we have a first aid box as a ministry 
if someone collapses now under the anointing and all of that there is if he needs medical attention there are doctors here who will attend to him let's be responsible these are the things that try to make those who walk in power look like fools because we we keep killing people every day destroying people and not stopping you know stopping people from medical attention i don't do that Tonight, I believe that God is going to bring his healing power again to someone. I believe in the ministry of healing. I have been a victim of sickness, so I know the relevance of healing. I've shared with you my testimony. When I had a fungal infection that ate my head, pastor, completely ate everything here. You won't see one. Um, it was just wounds everywhere. I know the rejection that sickness brings. I buy puff puff for people they won't collect it because my hand touched it even if I washed it in their presence can stigmatize you how about the woman with the issue of blood there are people living examples like that I remember praying for a lady who would bleed non-stop for sometimes like three or four months this lady can stand and be dizzy and just collapse like pass out We need to bring the healing power of God to people. We need to let them see the power of God in their lives. The devil is afflicting people with all kinds of sicknesses. And tonight in the name of Jesus is someone's night. The last gift of the spirit and then we will pray. The walking of miracles. What is the walking of miracles? The ability to bring about supernatural results supernatural occurrences that are above the laws of nature the ability to produce supernatural results above and beyond the laws of nature the working of miracle defies process there is no process with the working of miracles now life is a process but the working of miracles what happened in samaria was a working of miracles by this time tomorrow the economy of a nation will completely change. there are many of us who need miracles a healing is a miracle when it is instant when a healing is instant it's called a healing miracle miracles are not just limited to human bodies finances jesus perform that operation he said go and catch a fish open the mouth pick money out that's the working of miracles are we together now yes i believe in the working of miracles i've seen it happen in my life i've seen it happen in the ministry the multiplication of five loaves and two fish that was not just divine supply that was the working of miracles what of the the fish that they caught master we have toiled all night nevertheless at thy word and then he said cast your net to the right side and they caught so much fish they had to beckon on their partners what of ezekiel 37 restoration is a miracle bones that have gone and then the bible says something that always intrigues me when i read it it says bone was joined to its bone meaning no bone made a mistake every bone located the right one miracles someone is here and is in need of a miracle you are not sick in your body but there is a situation in your life that needs the intervention of god's hand if you go through the normal course of the law of process you may never be able to catch up restoration is one of those aspects in a man's life that requires the gift of the working of miracles and i will restore to you the years can years be restored i thought it's just material things that can be restored but god says no not with me when i can walk a miracle the bible talks about zion giving birth in one day that have you ever had this 
he said as soon as zion travails she shall put forth her son let me tell you i want you to get ready for strange occurrences in your life things that will happen you will know that this is only god they will say but i know it took 10 years to build the house and he said my brother i was sitting down like this and a key came to me miracles the bible never said mary was pregnant for nine months no sir the angel never told mary according to the time of life it was never said that pregnancy was nine months miracles the nation of israel 430 years captivity in one night he said they chased them they didn't even allow their bread to rise they said please get out of this place are we together the lord has declared that this is a year of triumph let me tell you this i truly believe in restoration and i believe in speed pastor femi come pastor alpha come let me show you something very quickly and then we'll pray please stand here gentlemen just stand close to me watch this if pastor femi and pastor alpha are making progress in life this is them walking is that true and then something keeps pastor alpha down are you seeing pastor femi is moving forward now now pastor alpha start walking slowly this is progress not restoration restoration means he must be here because this was his original place now let me tell you what this miracle does it picks you and puts you so that if they check your life they cannot see where the delay was so when god says i will restore he didn't say i will release the force so that you make progress no sir there are many of us at your age there are things that should have happened what you need is not progress you need restoration restoration this gift of the spirit is a strange operation of the spirit where people's lives can change overnight overnight god can give speedo god can bring his word to pass in people's lives he said rejoice not over me my enemies oh the fact that i lost my job and you are seeing me and my wife we are just moving around and i'm not eating anything you are laughing but the day this god arises in 24 hours 24 hours i've seen god do things in my life that has brought tears tears in my eyes i said god so this is what you can do some of you have never been surprised by god there is a way god will do something your first cry is not the miracle it's how it happened god i've always heard that you can move like this but this one that you have done it to me no lord i fear you he said he does these things that men will fear him when he does it he signs his signature on your life i am god jabez was a man who was born in sorrow the mother cursed him because of the pain he caused her and jabez said oh that thou wouldest enlarge me god even if you release me to start moving forward now when will i make it let me tell you we need speed in nigeria everything is against a young man's establishment everything if you are a ministry you need this gift in your life otherwise you will be in trouble nobody will give you chair nobody will give you canopy nobody will give you money if you don't know how to command miracles please help that person under the anointing there by the power of God. there are situations tonight that need to hear the word of the lord god is a miracle walker God is a glorious God. is, God is, I know you are some miracle in my life, Lord. God is a glorious. Just sing it one more time to build faith in your heart. My God is. He's a miracle walker, miracle walker. God is your glorious God. One more time, say God is 
He's a miracle, a miracle wonder. A glorious God. There is hope for a tree, even if it be cut. There is hope. There is hope. Apostle, at my age, I've not even gotten admission. My brother, there is hope. This God. In God's economy, one plus one is not two. Oh. One plus one is any answer he gives. Any answer. One plus one can be a car. What is the relationship between alphabets and car? The word of God. One plus one can be breakthrough. God can carry a man's lifetime achievement and give you in one month. Listen. This is not some get rich quick things. I don't encourage people to be irresponsible. But I'll be a stupid person to tell you I don't believe God can change people's lives overnight. Look at this ministry. Look at my life. Whoever told you God cannot arise for people. Listen, if you don't believe what I'm teaching you, you will struggle in your life as if God is not. The part of scripture you believe is the part that works for you. Are we together? Listen. If you are married and three years you've not had a child or four years you have not had a child if you have one child that's a testimony but that's not yet your portion if you have twins you have covered ground that's restoration I hear what I'm saying if you graduated 2000 and let's say six and by 2015 you cannot even rent a house if they give you a job with hundred thousand that's not yet your portion that's not your portion come on now how can that be your portion when somebody gets up and say I'm going abroad my house my car and the payment of the school fees I've left the Lord say I should give you that's your portion now God is called the God of portions I know this about him righteousness and justice 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 she came to him and said avenge me my enemies the man neither feared God nor men but because she impersonated him listen let me tell you when I begin to pray and make demands over things in my life I don't spare I say God I'm not where I should be oh I'm not where I should be no I'm moving forward. Thank you. But you said I will restore. You didn't say I will make progress. Are we together? Yes. That's how to pray. Lord, as a lady, I plan marrying 22. I'm 32. I can't just marry and continue. You are going to find a way of carrying me. Shabakatos. Lekota sabriata katoshiata. Hallelujah. Lord, I would have gotten a job in 2010. The man said I should sleep with him and get the job. But because of you, I refuse. Now it's 2017. I'm seven years. My payroll is seven years. Where is the window of heaven? I place that demand. And brothers and sisters, you will see God do things that they will think you held a child. The God that we serve. The working of miracles. God is truly a miracle worker. I've seen him change people's lives. I've seen him step into families. This year, God has done things in my life that brought tears in my eyes. I said, God, what is this? Can you allow God use your life to reveal his name? The names of God are a revelation of his possibilities. There are names you are just calling, but you have never really seen it. listen early this year i taught on the gifts of men that thing was not a message it's a rev it's a fearful dimension of god that god brought me into where men stand up to solve your problems as if you charm them there is a grace that makes that happen you will never listen 
there are some miracles that if they have not happened in your life you will never have time to serve god let's tell ourselves the truth some of you have served god 10 years you are still begging for bread allow god to step in and do something for you you don't need you what you need is more than a job you need god to sign his name in your life how much is a job how much is hundred thousand you now have five children be honest will hundred thousand bless them when one child's monthly school fees is more than a hundred thousand you need the gift of the walking of miracles the wine finished in a feast the gift of miracles is a cure for embarrassment cure for embarrassment the wine finished and they went to him he said fill six pots alas master it was borrowed he needed the gift of miracles every time your life is in a point of embarrassment that's the gift you need that's the gift you need that's the gift you need i don't know how to make you believe this thing we are going to pray brothers and sisters before i begin to minister to us please i beg you listen listen i want you to be angry at your current level and say lord this is not what i agreed me and you this in the secret place i am not ungrateful but this is not our agreement by our agreement the level of grace i should be working in now your gift this is not the agreement lift your voice and pray bring forth your strong reasons the gifts of the spirit are the platforms to experience his possibilities you reign you reign hello king Hello, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello. hallelujah I have to stop here so that we can pray I'm supposed to teach you how to receive the gift but just leave it we'll take it another time we have to pray this thing I've said I'm angry in my spirit we have to pray there, there are doors that we must force to open now there are doors that we must force to open let me tell you listen listen if you keep following your life casually you will never get some breakthroughs he said right from the days of john the baptist and until now the kingdom of god suffered violence and the violence will take it by force 
lift your voice and open your mouth announce things that must happen this night lord you gave gifts to men hey, your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty your majesty days that if you were told you will not believe it i will walk a walk there is something i want to do in your life there is something i want to do in your life in your family i like you to pray one minute lord i believe you all i believe you i believe you don't let the devil tell you you're wasting your time blessed is she that believes blessed is she that believes Visit my finances, oh God of heaven. Visit my family. hallelujah hallelujah listen I want us to pray no matter what has left your life call it back call it back lift your voice and pray whether it's money that left your life call it back joy call it back even God who quickened the dead and call it those things call it those things call it those things call it back sakata parato shekete those outside make sure you are praying those following online pray call it back by the spirit of faith by the gift of faith we call back opportunities we call back graces we call back mantles we call back dimensions
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to pray just before I pray for us. I'm releasing my faith with you. I don't know what God told you should have happened and you have not seen it. I'd like you to insist now and say, God, I've not forgotten. I bring you to remembrance. Early this year, you told me, Lord, you told me I will be laughing by October. I'm not yet laughing. I place a demand. I put pressure on your integrity. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. Place a demand. You said it, you can do it. You said it, you will make it happen. It is within your power. Shabakata praskalabato sebregeregelevoch. Ente kete kete kete. Rekete koto shoto preketa. Leketa paskata barakoto shobres. hallelujah 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 listen listen my bible says withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power to give the bible said it don't withhold good he said do not say unto him come today come tomorrow where you can do it now say lord now faith now faith i place a demand why wait tomorrow when it can happen now it is within your power it is within your power change my life now i place a demand cry out for your finances cry out for your life Abarato soto kabaradash lekata kata kata prasala balala balala bos. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. I want you to believe God is giving people things as I'm talking. Listen, you won't cry forever. There is a God that is alive. I want you to believe this i'm saying it you won't cry forever i come with an anointing in this place i come with the anointing that follows this office you won't cry forever there is a god that is alive there is a god that is alive there is a god that is alive there is a god that is alive, is is alive. hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family before the end of August four people getting a job the end of October four one two three four I'm declaring it I'm declaring it it will happen to a family four people within two weeks a supernatural door that embargo of witchcraft is broken now that embargo of witchcraft is broken now I release the grace that makes this happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life is the ability to hear God clearly. The times we live in now guess what will punish you again and again he said the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want here's how i quote it if the lord is my shepherd then i shall not want when you are many of us hear demons clearly you hear spirits clearly you hear voices 
nonsense voices clearly you don't need to pray to hear them but do you know that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's god speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of god so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of god to reach the saints but they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was god and they left it i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and i'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but i'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what i'm seeing now i understand by this vision what the bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of jesus this is not for everybody hold on i'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people i stretch my hands lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward i stretch my hands representing the hands of god and i command the hearing ears be open now please help them be open now be open now for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to uk they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that cement right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm. Thou shalt show me the path of life. He said, for it is in your light that we see light. We are going to cry for divine direction. Many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it. Lord, what is the next phase of my life? You can't remain like this and just sit down. What is the next season? What is your blueprint? Lift your voice and pray. Show me, oh God. I buy into the mind of the spirit. What is your communication for my ministry, for my life in this season? I don't want to be found where you were. I want to be found where you are. Pray. He that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying, not what he said. What he's saying, what he's saying, what he's saying. He said the spirit speaketh expressly, not the spirit spoke. The spirit speaketh expressly. Direction, okay. Listen, listen. Let me talk to us a little. Especially, I know that a generation of young people were very proud we just believe that just because we went to school we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence now destiny is not just academics and education you must cry part time per second for revelation this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are because not just because of the ability to hear god but the ability to stay until he says move tiredness can tell you to move weariness can tell you to move he said if your presence goeth not with us
don't send us from here oh god we are not going do you know it is costly to go without god is cheaper the pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where god is not there are men of god that started well but people encourage you and say this is how they do it in ministry when you get to this level this is the next step and you foolishly took a step a step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing hallelujah it matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until god says move i remember after our second crusade in this ministry the next year we're discussing and they say where are we going i went to the lord and the lord said you are not going anywhere and i said okay we're not going anywhere ah, but i thought we'd do it every year mm -mm. be careful the ritual of religion can destroy you god used to do it this way it doesn't mean he has to do it the same way the most important thing is let it be him doing it treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful mm. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come nothing in this world says jesus you're the cup that would run dry we live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed god is a god of speed i don't know why i'm preaching this now this is part of the miracle service god is the god of speed but god is not the god of rush there is a difference between speed and rush many of us the spirit of god is speaking to someone here you need to calm down the way you are running with your life you are going to land in trouble the way you are running with ministry you will land in trouble the way you are approaching marriage the way you are approaching destiny you will land in trouble culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch my soul wait thou upon the lord god is a god of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of god and more can be achieved in one month with god than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with god he said for with god all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait gone are the days that people say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord built a house listen very carefully it says they labor in vain 
build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep There are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus. Come and direct me. Give me direction. Are we together? The race is not to the swift. And the battle is not to the strong. Not even bread for them that are wise. When a man subscribes to the direction of God, your life may look controversial for a while, but all that will be before you is beauty and glory. Then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We're going to pray for the sick now. There's a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful. There are people about to relocate now to regions. They have not sought God. They just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern, appreciate, and reward value. That's all. They have a greater propensity to discern, to appreciate, and to reward value. You can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and He will come to you and bless you. Are we together now? How many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we are going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of God, it's an opportunity to watch. Lord, what are you doing? 
how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we're all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you are here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe asks you or prophesies to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it your husband got another wife Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? this precious lady I don't know you I'm just seeing you for the first time I'm not a woman so I can't pretend to say I know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and I'm asking it boldly do you believe that God can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders, brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again, brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her. Help her. Social help. The name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing you somebody. Just, just hold on. You, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. And the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I declare to you, not only will you or your brother be healed, I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now. 
in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe what can you do what can you do you in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing fibroid is that true how long seven years fibroid confirmed in the hospital that devil is going to leave you now in the name of jesus christ do you have children ma'am i've not married you are not married oh my god now you be gone
say after me in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus I prophesy over the next half of this year hear the word of the Lord become for me seasons of signs and wonders lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray everyone make sure you are praying Let's keep praying, keep 
praying. Let it become for me seasons of signs and wonders. Seasons of signs and wonders. Hallelujah. So after me, in the name of Jesus. Please let's be serious. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dimension of grace. Every dimension of the anointing. Required for my next level of exploits. I receive it tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and please pray. Every dimension. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned. One more time. Everything. Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm is taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
in the name of Jesus Christ say it again in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over my loved ones hear the word of the Lord this is your season of rising lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones please believe what you are saying prophesy I decree and declare in the name of Jesus this is your season of rising a new level a new dimension in the spirit says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory
listen let me tell you this was he praying many of us here all you need is the ministry of helpers are we together now the psalmist said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills do you know why he spoke about the hills because god used the strategy of the hill to protect the people every time there was war he would lead them up the hill and if they got there there would always be victory remember elijah when it, when there was time for any contest he would say go up the hill mount camel mount zion mount this and that and so he said i will lift up my eyes to the hills but he said no 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 where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man blessed is a man that finds help from God many people are suffering because there is no help life can be cheap when there is help believe me when I tell you this how much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it how much is it what is the job issue with a single signature a man's life can change but i told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default i like you to cry father in this season i'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny helpers please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was you praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you have value you are package your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at the my god arise for me as a helper Shaka Barakatos, Shaka Takata Katata Katata, Rakata Pakato Shaka Taka 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 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. He said, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen. You are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> in Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Help, oh God. Shabakatos, Shabros Ketabarakato Shanamakata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age-long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult. You have met that. No, no, no. It must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family hear the word of the lord i decree and declare let life come to you now lift your voice and pray prophesy life your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. All ministry, hear the word of the Lord. All business, hear.
hear the word of the Lord. All destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabbalah Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there but there was no life he says son of man prophesy again to the four winds and say all oh, wind breathe upon this lane and the wind came and breathed upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army listen god is able god is able to turn a man's captivity overnight he said have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day but he said as soon as zion travails we know that birth is nine months but something can happen to the rod of aaron and it can burn overnight with no root i like you to say lord let the supernatural work in my life in this season business at a supernatural rate ministry at a supernatural rate if it is the lord's doing then it must be marvelous in my eyes lift your voice and pray as soon as zion travails as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son as soon as zion travails pray hallelujah hallelujah the apostle said i desired once again to come to you but satan hindered us your breakthrough desire to come to you but satan hindered it your helpers desire to come to you have you seen a situation Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we are not here to waste time brothers and sisters this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom are we together he says do not be ignorant of the devices the methodologies from the word stratomai the methodology of satan there are methods he said do not let your good be evil spoken of have you seen that that's a method that i call you and satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm I just call you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just didn't please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to God 
to help us know what is of God and what is not of God because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live And I sat down, I was talking with the family and the man was just looking, you know, you know, all this, do, do and leave my house. Until by the mercies of God, God began to speak to him. At the end of it, it was him that escorted me out. He said, ah, ah, you are, you are, you know, my friend, they collected my, I said, look at this man would have missed this miracle. Brothers and sisters, some of our loved ones, you know what I'm saying, are like that. Their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years. They organized a program near your house. And they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened there be anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry dear sir. no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the sun arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the sun arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. Some men came to David in a cave called Adullam and they vowed that we must make you king. You are seeing a man who is already weak. No result. 
ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah, after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Hapa. There is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation when you when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship you can't give but if it's freely you received it freely you will give are we together your destiny is one helper away by the privilege of god's grace i've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people and overnight they got jobs without interview just because i happen to know someone in a position of influence and i say sir please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken is the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes god to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace it is the help of god that brought us here brothers and sisters the help of god there are pastors that need the help of god you can blow balloon and put it around you can do everything and find out that the people come and say it's cold don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you yet somebody called by god to help you will stand in the rain and say i'm sent and i'm not going anywhere when last did you receive help in your life when last did you receive help please hear what i'm telling you do you know if you do things alone and by yourself you are not blessed even if you succeed in doing it help help that god arises for a man and say young men established within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month i will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of god or not i told him i said no that that is a foolish that is a foolish concern are you seeing the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list you are now seeking whether it's the will of god going behind what is there to ask whether it's the will of god or not listen I know that it looks like it's just a joke but it's a serious issue how many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help no help ask the medical doctors they will tell you you buy a car alone you look for food alone you walk alone you seek counsel by yourself you advise yourself no helper you see people moving like Cain all around nobody to help nobody to advise you their pastor pastor bolaji do you know sometimes pastor bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord there were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruits that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for i have the privilege by the mercies of god to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and i see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to egypt and stayed until they became slaves when they began to say it's time for our exodus pharaoh looked at them and said uh-huh you are beginning to find some level of convenience don't give them straw is because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the lord leave them to find straw by themselves and they say moses don't go to pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house he say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the hearts to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor keep praying i just want to say thank you so many Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead the Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart Lord I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart and I will lift my voice to you in worship I will worship You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. I speak over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands everything represents shame and reproach in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back 
with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the Negev I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed i decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of jesus christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declar a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah paradventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done you've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle I have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire and I'm saying I need Jesus if you belong to any of these categories I like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you are appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you're not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concerts just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them <laughs> hallelujah hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain